Welcome back, Rook Pack. This week I wanted to do a very chill, relaxing video, taking you along with me throughout the day and sharing what we eat to maintain a healthy diet. So I hope you find this relaxing and motivating. So we have to start our morning off with that sweet nectar of life, as Yonik would say. I just started boiling some water and I'm gonna take this organic Peruvian ground coffee and place it into our French press. I've been loving French pressing our coffee lately because it just makes the taste so much better. At first I was really intimidated by it, thought it was too bougie, you know, but I've learned it's really simple. It takes a few steps in the morning, but overall it's worth it. While I wait for that water to boil, I start drinking my first round of water for the day. I usually will drink at least 72 ounces of water each day. Keep me hydrated, keep me feeling good. That water is ready to go. I'm gonna take it and pour it into the French press. Place the top of the French press um, on and then I'm gonna press it just meeting the coffee line, not all the way down yet. Then I'm gonna set my timer for four minutes and let it sit. Theo's about ready for his food now. He's been on the Origin Puppy food. It's really loved that. It's done really well with him. It is a very high quality superfood for pups. I will link it below so you guys can check it out. But we've been slowly transitioning him into adult food because he'll be a year next week. I'm trying out this fresh pet um, slice and roll thing. It's only day three of us using it. So I'm not sh too sure how it is for him, but I just take a little bit and mash it in with his puppy chow. Per the usual, he's excited. Gotta get him to wait and be patient and then he can have his meal. He's such a good boy. Now back to the coffee. That four minute timer has just gone off. I'm gonna go ahead and slowly press the coffee. I like to flavor our coffee with some organic honey, about one tablespoon in each cup, and then some cinnamon to sprinkle on top. We like to stay away from using refined sugars in our diet. Coffee creamers, as blissfully delicious as they are, they typically contain lots of refined and added sugars. So that is why we use just honey and cinnamon. It allows us to get that sweetness out of our coffee but cut out that refined sugar. This is a great change to make. If you drink coffee every day, cutting out coffee creamer will do wonders for your body. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make Yannick's lunch before he goes off to work. I'm using these nasty sandwich thins. I'm sorry, I don't like them. Yannick loves them. I guess they're a great low calorie option if you're interested in that. So I'm taking this Hellman's light mayonnaise and lightly spreading it on the sandwich thins. Taking a slice of provolone cheese and putting it on there. And then some fresh deli meat. This is smoked turkey. It's pretty much it. Sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll add like lettuce, tomato, avocado, or something like that. But today it's just basic. I'm adding in his little note. And a protein bar. This is Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch Bar. Some salted almonds. And lastly, his jug of water. And that should do it. Now for my breakfast shake, I'm taking the silk almond milk in unsweet as the base of my shake. Take about a cup of that and I put it to the side. And then I take out my Ninja Blender single serve cup and a scoop of the gold standard 100% whey protein isolate in the flavor vanilla. I'll link this down below because it's the best protein ever. Next, I'm using the creatine monohydrate to add as a supplement to help me build lean muscle. It's tasteless, so it's great to add into smoothies and shakes. Another supplement I like to add is the Amazing Grass Green Superfood. I take a scoop of this for my vitamin and mineral boost for the day. You definitely have to get used to the taste if you get the plain flavor. The chocolate flavor is a lot more palatable, but has great benefits, so it's worth it. Mix that all together, and then you're all done. 
jumping right into lunch, I'm making some guac for my elevated avocado toast. I'm seasoning it with some organic garlic salt, tahini, and some black pepper. I don't have a lime, so I'm using this lemon. Pretty bummed, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I'm gonna go ahead and mash this up. I love adding diced red onion, white onion, and tomatoes to my guac. Just find that it makes it nice, chunky, and super flavorful. Now I'm gonna take that guac and pack it onto some nice toasted sourdough bread. I like to pack it on pretty heavy because it's so delicious. Feeling pretty hungry today, so I decided to make two. I'm gonna top it off with some sliced tomatoes. And I'm gonna add some black sesame seeds on top. You definitely have the option of stopping here and eating it just like this, but I like to add some smoked salmon to elevate this avocado toast and add some more protein. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some cilantro for the finishing touch. A few hours have passed and now it's time for some snacks. I've got my favorite kombucha, the Health Aid Kombucha, and this is the Tropical Punch flavor. I also have some cherries and my favorite Trader Joe's snack, the Rosa Teriyaki Seaweed. It is so delicious. Now for dinner, I'm gonna start off with my Mediterranean style salad chopping up these super greens into very tiny pieces. Adding in some diced yellow pepper and some diced tomatoes, along with some diced red onion. Then I top it off with some lemon juice, some pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, and I mix it all together. Now I'm prepping our bowls. I'm adding some shredded chicken that I cooked in my crock pot and some steamed jasmine rice. Then I go ahead and add that salad. Top it off with some cilantro. And lastly, some tzatziki. This stuff is the bomb. I put about one tablespoon on top of the rice. And now we're all set. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.